What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care and today we are going to talk about uh, some more of the Milwaukee pack out system and you've probably got the cooler, the radio, all this cool stuff and right when you thought it couldn't get any better, BAM! Milwaukee hits you with a M18 pack out light that is also a charger. Uh, so let's just start right here at the back of this thing. So you've got this on your pack out system. <clears throat> this is going to be facing the back. Now, uh, the one thing about these lights is all of these lights do rotate. So you can pretty much put these wherever you want, however you want. But you can also turn them outward. So if you are walking, per se, uh, with your pack out system, you need some light, then boom. You have your light on the front and the back. It's going to light up that area for you, uh, make it easier for you to get in and out, depending on what you're, you know, trying to do, how dark it is, things of that nature. So we'll go ahead and take this one here, flip it around as well, and shazam! All right. So uh, <clears throat> right here we have our plug. Now plug, plug this bad boy in. Uh, this will also charge your battery. Now charging your battery, this is not a rapid charger this is just like a regular m18 charger so do not expect it to uh you know shoot up and charge your battery within an hour not going to happen it's not a rapid charger that's probably the only thing that milwaukee could have added to this honestly to make it even better is a rapid charger a lot of people keep asking for you know rapid charger on different items and uh milwaukee you keep giving us a regular charger but is that a bad thing well probably not you know uh depends on more than likely you've got a different way to charge your batteries anyhow this is probably not going to be your main source to charge your battery but if it is then just know uh, it's going to charge just like a regular charger is going to moving on down here we have this bad boy we're going to open it up this is where you're going to put in your phone your ipod any of your small little items you can store in there but there's a usb usb 2.1 in here that let me just say uh if you don't know what it is if you've got a regular phone your regular charger is pretty much a uh, five watt your rapid fast charger for your phones uh, are going to come in about 18 watts or so and then the usb 2.0 is going to come in right around 11 to 12 watts so it's going to charge it faster than a regular charger but it's not going to charge it as fast as your fast charger is going to but it's still going to be you know in between there so uh just to let you know how that is nice gasket around this whole lid right here no worries about that love the gasket uh ip54 rated for dust and water both of these have a real nice gasket this one is actually right here this uh gasket is all around this on the outside and here it's on the inside of the door so uh we're going to move on around here to the front and we will just open this one because i know you're very curious about this this is a 12.0 battery so this will take your 12.0 battery now run times i'm going to give you on this was done with a 5.0 battery so you can only imagine what an eight high output a nine or a 12 run time wise is going to give you you put a 12 in this bad boy you shouldn't have to worry about anything for the rest of the you know eight hour day uh but you know same thing nice gasket all the way around this here's where it tells you uh the different charging capabilities of this what each one stands for you have your charging lights here uh, this one's going to go red and then it's going to flash red just like a regular charger when it's completely charged it's going to fly or go completely solid green so uh, once again 12.0 does fit in there then you have three modes on there actually you have you have a uh, nine different modes of this light but uh three different ones per se but each one each mode has a uh low medium and a high so total you're going to get nine and where they get that from is we got your mode button here we got your power button here then we have your lumen button here pretty much for your low medium and high 
So uh, we're going to we're going to turn this on. Let me. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this keep this up. So uh, we'll, we'll just move these forward here, facing each other. That way you can kind of see what's going on, but it's not facing the camera directly. So uh, we're going to press our power on button. <coughs> we have all three lights on, and boom, all three lights are on, and they are on high. There's medium, there's low. We're also going to turn the lights off in here and let you see what this actually looks like on low, medium, and high as well. All right, so excuse the garage, but I'm also standing behind the camera filming this with my phone as well, just to show y'all uh, what's going on behind the scenes here pretty much, and that way you're not just hearing me. So this is just the middle light. This is on high, is what you're seeing right now. Let me back out here, there we go. So this is on high, and then we have medium and low. So high, medium, and low. Uh, then we're going to switch on the two outer lights and turn off this middle one. So once you hit the button again, your middle light here is going to go away. No more middle light. And we just have our outer lights and these are on low. And now we'll go medium, or I'm sorry, that was on high, here's medium, and here's low. So there's high, and then we'll bring this middle one back up, and we'll turn this mode button back on again. And once we hit this mode button, then it will give us all three of these lights. So now we're at all three lights being on. As you can tell, all three on. This is high. This is medium, and this is low, and back to high. So uh, let's tell you some lumens of this thing. This thing is totally awesome. I mean, totally awesome. Regardless, the way this sits on your pack out system, I'll grab a pack out box here. We'll show you. You've got your legs here. Maybe you don't want to pack out, so let's go over it. Uh, and then you have your notches here. So it's gonna go in the front. Just like this, <clears throat> you're in there, and then all you do is push this back, and you'll hear it click and lock in. So now you were locked in. Now you can literally carry this whole thing. It's not going to go anywhere. This is how you keep most all of your pack out together is just by locking it in. Then when you want to unlock this to take it off, maybe you want to take this, use the light somewhere else. Very easy to do. Lift this up, pull out, lift up, and you're off. So you can set this down and use it. You know, if you didn't want to, uh, didn't want to have it on a pack out, you could literally take it off and use it on the floor, stick it somewhere else, aim these lights pretty much wherever you want them to go, and use it as that way. So there's a couple different uses for this, and it's totally, totally awesome. So uh, let's talk about some lumens battery life things of that nature all right so we're going to start with these two lights right here your back and your front lights only only your back and your front five amp hour battery runtime 325 lumens on low 700 lumens on medium and 1000 lumens on high so uh you're going to get 12 hours of runtime with these two lights on high, you're going to get 30 up to 31 hours supposedly on low. So main light, okay, get rid of these. We're now focusing on the main light. The main light, five amp hour battery, eight hours of runtime, 1500 lumens, 12 hours of runtime, a thousand lumens uh, for medium, and then your low is going to give you 450 lumens at 21 and a half ish hours. Uh, and then if you add all three of these lights and turn it on, your high setting is now going to walk and throw up an extra 500 lumens, which is going to give you that 3,000 lumens that they uh, talk about on this. Five and a half, at which four hours of runtime, five and a half hours of runtime, 2,000 lumens with all of these going, 
on medium and then your low setting 10 hours of runtime 1000 lumens uh, on low so imagine what it's going to do with a 12 amp hour or an 8 amp uh, high output or your 9.0 as well you're going to get a five year tool warranty on this five years <clears throat> so you're not going to have any issues and if you do then uh you're going to get that five year warranty now the led is limited warranty not sure how much of a warranty this personally is going to be and we have 11.4 pounds is what this is i weighed it on my scale i got a little over 11.3 so it's right at 11.4 and then i actually weighed it with the 12 amp hour battery as well with the 12 amp hour battery i ended up getting uh right at 14 and a half pounds with the 12 amp hour battery so this thing you're looking at adding an extra you know 14 and a half pounds widths again with the 12 amp hour battery 11.4 pounds just tool only here so you know let me know your thoughts down below what do you think of this i think this is an awesome thing to have if you've got the pack out system especially if you're used to carrying around uh, your pack out plus a light now you have the pack out light that's going to do a lot of a lot of stuff and give you the option of putting these pretty much wherever you want so uh, that's going to do it for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe make sure you comment down below let me know your thoughts on this bad boy and i will see you in the next one which uh we're going to be going over the new rocket light 6000 lumens so uh stay tuned for that we'll see you soon